Oh, look at it is TFS Space Me here. Back with you in a Persona 5 Royal video. Let's go to our treasure. You want to get over here. Alright, that settles it. Well, I'm still kinda of worried, but we've gotta do this. Fascinating. Cannot even begin to fathom what Monorama's treasure may be. Either way, it was still it for sure. Oh, and you all did good great today. Yeah. We did it. Yes. We finally secured our route to treasure. All we need to do now is send the car yeah. like Okay, I've been waiting for this. Anyways, when are we gonna send it? I guess this part that part's up to you, dude. Let us know when you need us. Ah, you're back. Okay. Did great today, you tired? All we have to do now is send the calling card to Monorami. Are we not gonna add you to the chat? Alright, it's finally time. Now we gotta do decide when we're gonna do it. Shouldn't we talk to you about that first? Uh why? I mean Monorame was his teacher. It's not our place to be deciding something like this. Oh yeah. Uh let's talk to him. Yeah, this problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, how about we all meet up and talk it out? Yep, sounds good. Okay, let me know when you want to meet and I'll tell you skip. Just add him to the group chat. Okay, he doesn't like me and Ryuji, but still, just add him to the group chat. Um, wait, what's this one? Uh, knowledgeable of crimes, big. Make sure you close up. All right. You should invite someone to go sometime. Can't imagine you as a fashionable type, though. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late is not healthy, you know. You. By the way, I saw a big sign for the Madarama exhibit on the way here. Can I help but remember what repugnant art museum? That repugnant art museum. We must make haste to destroy such a wall. We can send the calling card now, correct? Are you not going to send it? Not yet. I do not comprehend. We know where the treasure is now. Is there further preparation we need? So be it. I leave the timing of the calling card to you. Just don't be too late with it. We have plenty of time. What, like nine days? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. It's day with the seven. Murky or the doctor? Oh, you don't get increased. You just kind of want to hang out. Hi, have you been? If you don't mind, could I ask some of your time? It won't take long, so feel free to just, just stop by. Thank you, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, well, I'll meet you in the nurse office then. Now. Well, today's just going to be another back and forth as usual. Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. Lots of treats. I've been making listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and griefs lately, so I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies too. Yeah, they're wrapped. I thought I'd get a surprise for you, since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy. How old do you think I am? I mean, yeah, you, I, you could just give me cash, but yeah, this looks great. Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. For way more than seconds. Oh, yes. 
Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, they actually reminded me of this psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other was filled with cookies, ten of them. The one with one cookie, people reported, tasted better. So then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked them how their tastes, tastes compared. Which container's cookies were Marcus taking better? Any guesses? One cookie. Right. Correct. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the, from the people, from the native. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by absorbing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. That's why some people do limited edition merchandise. They get played. In some cases, sure, but don't you think it's intriguing as well? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, absorbable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires makes, may have changed the taste of the cookie. My sense is lied to me. Hey, as long as, uh, as long as it tastes good. That's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It's probably some, sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes, but if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. For example, for example, take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. Not truth exactly. Well, point taken, I can see why you'd say that. Basically what I wanted to say was, if this idea of preconception could be a study further and actually apply to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people. Maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so how they are perspective. Some people might call it a lie or see it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Oh yikes, I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like, it's as if I'm talking to an old friend. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of a deal, right? So we say anyway. Rank 5, Mindfulness. Chance for Sir Joker's SP when it is low. Right. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... All right. Well, Don't see worry, you. really. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? Okay? Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. Uh, don't mind. You're always so kind. You might be a better counselor than I am. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused in my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. 
Oops, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. Ah, you're back. You got time right now? Just, um... Gosh dang. Next time then. I forgot he's on the Sundays. What else should I like? Please consider what I have to say. I'm not scared to give along to you. I shall ask you again another time. I like I'd like your help on my days off. Contact you again soon, discuss. Hmm. Hmm. It's great that I'm here. But now what? Should I find some punk and do an on-the-spot interview? I guess the editor chief has been nagging me about covering the Phantom Thieves, so. Sensei got. Monorami Sensei has gotten quite popular. Do you like his work? I don't care about it. Guess it's probably how most people feel. I used to be an artist myself, jumped up having my own. I was the apprentice of someone well known within the art circles, but that was a long time ago. I'd guess it was Monorami. Do you remember that group a while back? Name Dak, websites named Justice. We had high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. Yeah, these are true heroes, though. I want to help out um. however I can. Do you remember the horrible person I text you about? You change your heart right? Okay. I don't even want to know. Oh, yeah, let's do Bugger Shot. Challenge. Earth Burger. As you are the second mate, the difficulty of your mission will be increased. Certainly, now then go take a seat. Good luck. Thank I don't think I'll much. be able to finish it, but. Uh, this is your next photo. It's humongous. This is the Gravity Burger. A burger is so large that it, it almost has its own gravitational field. Once again, this will be no easy feat to overcome. She can't challenge you be awarded. Now then. Thirty minute. Looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cold. Now then. Don't get too icy. Just work at it. At your own pace, you'll do it. No, I won't. Oh, I get close. Man. Oh man, didn't work out. You had a ton of energy at the start though. I guess it'll take quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. Uh, yeah. Yep. Admire your enthusiasm in the face of adversity, though. Wanna head back? Come on, shut at home. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go clean up the park.
You also want me to hang out with her. I'm um, busy covering Kamashita's story. It's already over. That's true, but I'm going to write about it so that the same thing won't happen again. Should have covered that artist Matarami instead. We're going to talk about him. Makoto here. Doesn't seem like it. Cleaning of it, my pain. Oh, Makoto's missing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's return our book. She's not in here. What would you like? Thank you. What would you like? Here. Honestly, it's weird not Makoto. Um. Come to mementos today. Oh, here's Makoto. Weird, I just happened to run into you. Oh. Now, what a coincidence. Are you on the way home as well? Sakamoto and Tamayaki san are now with you. You seem quite good friends with them, by the way. Yeah, just purely coincidence. Uh, um. Just go straight home if you can. Place has been. Place has been stuck by quite a lot of crimes lately. Struck by quite a lot of crimes lately. But yeah, I'm not going straight home actually. We can now take him down, yes? Matarame is going to be a changed man. There won't be any way to revert it though. Are you sure you're okay with that? I have thought it over carefully. And I cannot think of a future in which he does not pay his dues. He has preyed not only on the art world but on countless talents. So, I humbly request your help. I apologize for making you do this. Not at all. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusuke. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? <laughs> what a suave maneuver. It's not about acting cool. The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. A change in cognition? Uh, that reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Ah, you must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography, I think. Very nicely put, Lady An. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily, but why does this world formed from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives, completely oblivious? Honestly, I'm not sure. At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida incident, but that's all. I see. Crap, they totally caught me off guard with that. It's kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn thing about. Did the thought ever cross your mind? 
or not. Don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in after all. All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. Well then. All right, do you guys remember the most important step the Phantom Knights need to take before they can sum his heart? What? Come on, just tell us. Oh, oh do you mean the color card? Wait, wait a second. Did we send the last one? That one last time? Treasure materializes when we change target subconscious with the calling card. That's the rule when dealing with the palace. But in mementos, it seems like we can just go for the target immediately. What? Wait, what? We don't need a calling card or nothing? Something else already exists that fulfills that role. Fortunately for us, Machine will put a comment up in the forum saying the Phantom Thieves are coming. For a small target, that's enough of a calling card. That alone will put some fear in them for a while. Uh, machine, machine was common about him on the fan site. That's why the nav picked up on him. Can we really leave something that important to someone else? The desires of the Mento shadows are nothing compared to those of the palace rulers. Still, we need to unanimously agree on a target, not ignoring the rules, even for smaller ones. Anyway, let's get to discussing the intel we've gathered. This intel is on an arrogant, brown-haired bully in student Shujin Academy. Things have gone a little too far for just bullying, though. He's abusing black men, killing I'm gonna make kids. Him He's the perfect target. Come on, let's take him down. Are you sure you're on your side? Just go to Mementos. Then again, we can't leave a guy like that be. We should go. No yep. protections, right? Mm. We're good to go. If you're okay with it, that's an unanimous decision. Okay, all this left's take down the target and mementos. Hey! Don't you think the change of heart is more important? All decisions up to you. Number of targets residing within mementos is one at present. Now then shall we head in? Yes. Let us go. Mementos navigation. You can now click travel then Mementos open the map with RB. You select Mementos overview. Choose where you want to go. This can be done in certain locations such as the Mementos entrance and the train platforms at the end of each area. Joker. Oh yeah, I have something for you before you head in there. Those were the last I had, so you're on your own now. Okay. okay let's get to work. Come on, Joker. I should write something. Start from getting. We need XP. He's in the second area. Hmm. This is. Uh, it's different after all. I mean, you just say change that every time we come in. That's right. The orientation of the tracks has surely shifted. Anyway, we just have to get used to this. Let's get moving. It's fine. When?
I think I don't know what that was. Seen flowers. Uh, we came last time, right? Yeah, it just says I expected the path ahead is still open. Time to check it out. Bumped into that guy again. Uh, what was his name? Jose? I mean, Jose, right? He's such an adorable little kid, isn't he? Panther, I'm adorable too, you know. Um. Yeah, yeah, anyway. He said he was looking for flowers and wanted our help, right? Sounds like he'll award us here. Doesn't it seem like helping him would be worth it? I guess I'm, I am kind of curious about what we get. Why don't we go look for him? He's probably still around here. Mm. Looking for him is fine and all, but remember that it's risky to stay in one area for too long. There is one really full some shadow and mementos. If we hang around too long, you'll hunt us down. For real? Ah, uh, the heck are you talking about? Why didn't you tell us this before? The Reaper. If you spend too much time in one area of mementos, a frightening shadow called the Reaper may be here. The Reaper is extremely powerful, engaging it in battle is not advised. If you hear the sound of chains, leave the area immediately. I've never run into one. Pixels has killed one. We should be fine if we find him quickly. Alright, let's get going. I think you get an achievement for killing it. But yeah, it's like very hard. More like of an end game type thing, like maybe new game plus thing also. Hey, good job. You like saying huh. that. What you got there? That's really neat. Oh, Jose's looking at my will seeds. Forgot he took those. Found some will seeds, huh? They're emanating a strong power, but hmm. If you collect three well seeds, they might grow even stronger. I'm serious, okay? They do look really cool, though. I'd like to start collecting them myself. I was told to truly understand humans, I need to learn about their desires. I wonder if I'll be able to make my own well seeds after I learn more about humans. Oh, sorry. This is yours. Here you go. Let me know if you find any others like it, okay? Learning about desires also teaches me more about humans. Oh! oh that's right here. Before I forget. Stamp. Remember when I told you I'd come up with a fun game for us to play Mementos? <laughs> I thought of this after seeing the subway in the other world. This will also prove that you're checking for flowers and all sorts of places here. 
The stamps have different words than the flowers, so try to get as, many, as much of both as you can. Stamps for mentos. By exploring around mentos, you may find stamp podiums placed by Jose. Jo Jose for you. You will only receive one stamp for podium, but after you've collected multiple stamps, Jose will help you with your investigation. Hey. Any flowers for me, mister? If you do, let's trade some really good stuff. So first off, what's the plan? I can change mementos for you in all sorts of ways. Cognition changes in mementos. When you collect stamps, you'll obtain points that can be used to have just say change the environmental cognition. By changing cognition, you'll be able to increase the amount of money, experience, or items you can obtain in mementos. You will be able to choose which effect to increase by delegating points. Use your points wisely to help make your investigations easier. You can reset the points you delegated by using flowers. However, the more points you delegate, the more flowers you will need. To view the current cognition change, press RB to pull up the main map. You can check the status at any time during your investigation. I'll trade you great stuff for some flowers. Jose, when you speak to Jose in Mementos, you will be able to trade flowers for items. Different items cost different amounts of flowers. The rarer the item, the higher the price. These flowers cannot exist outside of Mementos, so be careful. You will lose all flowers you've collected when you leave. From, when you leave. So right now he doesn't have like the best stuff, but he does get better. I mean that's pretty good. Speaking of Alright, I should mention something about this flowers you're collecting. For some reason you can't leave mementos with them. They'll disappear on you. It's weird. But it'd be so sad to collect flowers just to have them disappear on you. What a waste, am I right? So don't forget to come bring them to me before you leave mementos, okay? Good? I should do it. Good job. Sometimes he is ridiculously hard to find. Because it's not guaranteed that you'll find Jose on every floor. Gotta find out if you're always human or not. Can't believe you're picking, you're fighting a kid like me. I'm not mature anyway. Are you, are you a teenager, mister? Are you maybe a rebellious teen? I bet you know what grown ups say kids are cute. They really mean it all the time. I'm cuter than most kids. Uh, Kodama. We're full. Yeah, I can get rid of you. Your power is incredible, Joker. Okay. Looks like there's a stamp thing here, might be that stuff J Jose was talking about. Just looking at it, it's making me want to get stamping like crazy. Such a good man. Look for these wells of flowers, let's stamp it down. 
Obviously, one of the first things we're gonna increase is XP. That way we can level up faster, which will kind of make um, beating palaces easy if we can use this place to level up. You know, this palace security level doesn't seem to change, even if enemies spot you. Mementos is different. Wow, other palaces exist because of just one person. This one's from the public. From that perspective, it takes more than a few intruders to make a mark on the security level. You have to do something so bad that the entire public sees you as an enemy. So be careful, okay, school. Hey, shut up. Send to target somewhere in this area. Let's scowl this floor for them. Target up ahead, you wanna head in. Oh Took an ash to shadow, huh? This guy's bullying is real but really bad. From what I hear it's mostly blackmail, taking money from people, that kind of thing. If we don't make him have a change of heart, his bullying might get even Let's worse. Go. Slaves for not staying up for themselves. What was that? That's no reason. How is it their fault when you don't give them any choice, huh? You're the lowest of the low, bullying people weaker than you, knowing they can't fight back. Me, the heck? You're all getting up on me too. Are you Phantom Thieves, some kind of gang? Protective of justice, why? But don't act high and mighty with me when you don't know anything. Are you Jack Frost? Nice. You're the one who doesn't know anything. Let's get him. I already told you. I didn't do anything wrong. Listen to me. Dang it. Rude. Oh, the problem with fear is it can make people run away. Oh. Not that. Oh, yeah, you're not gonna attack. Oh, thank you, Ryuji. You have different weakness. Fucking does nothing. You move. What do you think? I didn't have a choice. But if I don't do it, they're gonna hurt me. I don't want people taking my money from me anymore. What, what are you talking about? If I don't go after. 
I'm the one who's gonna get bullied. I can't take it. I just can't. Oh, I get it now. There's an even bigger bully bothering this guy around. Who's behind all this? Hey, didn't you just say it's people's own fault for not standing up for themselves? That's uh, right. Please help me. Alright. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you wonderful fan of thieves. This guy, fickle fellow, isn't he? I'm counting on you. You guys promised. Fine, but you better apologize to those people you bullied. Alright, we got treasure. Protein. Okay. Go back to entrance. Uh, I just want to save. Let's do it. So, guys, that'll be it for this video. Guys, have enjoyed. Like, video, comment, and subscribe for more. Guys, my next video, whenever, whatever that one. Maybe. Bye, guys.